Hey, Alicia, you know your old man's no fashion snob, right? Didn't you say the crossing guard at my school looked like he was wearing a burlap sack this morning? Yeah, your old man stays fashionable and hip because he knows to put his wardrobe in the hands of the professionals. The professionals at Trunk Club. Didn't you say our waiter at Denny's yesterday looked like he was wearing, what did you call his pants? High waters? Trunk Club takes the hassle out of shopping by shipping you a trunk of clothes that fit perfectly and make you look like a million bucks with all the new fall styles. Didn't you also say that our mailman should lay off the spandex? At Trunk Club slash TSD, you answer simple questions about your style. Trunk Club takes the hassle out of shopping by shipping you a trunk of clothes that fit perfectly and make you look like a million bucks with all the new fall styles. What about that guy who cut you off in the... Po- okay. We have almost had it. Now you gotta start over again. No, we don't. Yeah. Trunk Club, take two. You gotta be able to say it without, like... Why? You gotta be, say it smooth. Do I start over? Yeah. Why? It's gotta be perfect. Okay, you right? cut that out. I don't want to make him do much work, though. He, he, he's gonna pay. <laughs> He's going to hear that. He's going to hear that. <laughs> I mean, like, he's going to pay, pay peanuts to do this. He's not going to pay to do co- complete, to me- fix all your mess ups. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You ready? Yes. Didn't you say the crossing guard at my school if he was wearing a burlap sack? Yeah, no one can. You're like, you're like, you got to slow it down so we can The understand. first one was fine, and now. Yeah, but then you're like, I'm not. <laughs> There was one thing I messed up on. Oh my god, you're annoying. Okay, ready? Right. Take four. There's a five. I, can't I don't tell. know. He did, no one cares. Didn't you say our waiter at Denny's yesterday looked like he was wearing, what did you call his pants? High water waters? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep saying the wrong waters? Because you can't read it right. It's high waters. Okay, okay. Let's go back to this. Okay. What about that guy who cut you off on the parkway? You said he looked like a rotten pumpkin in his orange shirt. At trunkclub.com slash TESD, you answer simple questions about your style, preferences, and size, and, and are assigned an expert stylist. Didn't you say the guy who cuts our lawn looks like his wardrobe came from Goodwill? They curate clothes from the best premium brands and you approve of what you like. Didn't you say that Jeff... Looks like he gets dressed in the closet with the lights off. And just like that, a trunk arrives at your doorstep filled with hand-picked clothes that are perfect for you. Didn't I hear you say to Ming, wow, nice jeans. I wish I could wear my wife's clothes, too. And right now, their entire styling service is free. Even the shipping. You only pay for the clothes you keep. To take advantage, go to trunkclub.com slash TSD. One last time. That's trunkclub.com slash TESD for a trunk fill of clothes you'll love wearing. I should have had one. I should have had like a bang one. Like Like what? Didn't you say that guy Declan looks like he dresses like a leprechaun? And didn't you say that... Wait, what? Forget it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Alicia. Uh-huh. Check is in the mail, Alicia. <laughs> Bye. Finally, FanDuel.com has created a contest just for the Tell em Steve Dave people. There's a 100-person Tell em Steve Dave league that costs $5 to enter. Uh, Walt will be playing under TESD underscore ants. There's another account, Team TESD, and you know what FanDuel does. You go there, you pick your fantasy league or fantasy guys or what have you, and you win money. So go to FanDuel.com slash TESD, and it'll bring you to that particular event, and you must do it now. It's time sensitive. I believe uh, as of right now, it's 7 o'clock. I'm in San Antonio. 7 o'clock, and there's like 17 hours left. So uh, get on there. Play against your fellow ants and uh, win a couple bucks while you're at it. Mm. 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 Oh, this... Um, all right, hold on. Let me do that again. I'm that sounded crazy. <laughs> that sounded horrible. <laughs> sound like you're getting like sick. Like, all right, hold on. All right, take two. Hold on. Don't, don't, uh, don't knock me off my concentration now. Mm. 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 This late summer pork bolognese is delicious. What's the name of this restaurant again?
Dad, we're not a restaurant. We're at home eating on the TV tray tables. Huh? Oh, oh wow, I guess we are. But this late summer pork bologna is so good, <laughs> it feels like I'm at a five-star restaurant. Come on. That's because you're eating a blue apron, and blue apron delivers farm-fresh ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes to your home, allowing you to create healthy, hand-crafted -cra meals at home without going to the grocery store. And all for less than ten dollars a meal. I right, start over. Yeah, you do you know it's not pronounced baloney and not like you thought it said two different things. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to stay with the thing, right? I'm supposed to say with chicken. No, I'm supposed to say with um, this. But you don't even know how to pronounce that. You have no idea how to pronounce that. I can never tell. All right, I'm going with this one. Then the late summer pork baloney. You bologna. said bolo It's not called baloney. Bolognese. Bolognese. <laughs> all right, all right. So take three. Ready? Less than ten dollars a meal? That's amazing. So what's on the menu for tomorrow? Chicken pad li mao. That's right. Chicken pad li mao. For less than ten dollars per meal, Blue Apron sends you fresh <laughs> ingredients, perfectly proportioned, mm -hmm. making cooking healthy meals really easy and fun. No trips to the grocery store and no waste from unused ingredients. Plus, you'll learn to cook with specialty ingredients that are normally hard to find. Hmm. So it's here that Blue Apron works around your schedule and dietary preferences. And Blue Apron's experts source only the best seasonal ingredients for incredible meals like salmon burgers and aloe. You'll cook incredible meals and be blown away by the quality and freshness. Consider me blown away, Alicia. So check out this week's menu and get your first two meals free by going to blueapron.com slash T-E-S-D. My treat really, the first two meals are on me. When you go to blueapron.com slash T-E-S-D. Blue, Blue Apron. Apron. It's yeah. a better way to cook. Please, please, <laughs> please tell me I'm not ugly. <laughs> Oh, go suck a ghost dick. I mean, like... <laughs> really? They're not really into Tomstone. Oh, they're, they're not jokers into fans? me. Whoa. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. <laughs> when did you hear this? Tell him, Steve, Dave. Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of... Hello, Steve Dave, broadcasting from the comic book men set. Where uh, are we allowed to spoil this? Well, that yeah. Brian Quinn is on the show. Yeah, he's mentioned it before. Oh, has he? Yeah. Spoil the shit you out of it. You spoiled it. I spoiled it. All right, you spoiled it. All right. I'm shutting off all my phones and stuff. So yeah, we're not downstairs, so this probably sounds good. Yeah, no. But Let's I take that. Like, take a chance. I don't like the okay. chance of that. All right. You're gonna hear hustle and bustle in the background. Here we are. Yeah. What do we got to talk about? We're on, this a, week? We're on a hot set. Is that yeah? That's what oh. it's called, right? Hot set. Yeah. So so people will be walking by. You're going to hear people in the background. But I filmed my podcast section of the show today, where I finally uh, get to sit at the table and enjoy myself with you guys and Kevin. Uh, I'm going to say it's one of the. Um, I don't. I'm not ever really. I could say like I was like a fulfilling moment. Yeah, but it was. Oh, good, dude! Her, like I felt it was like a really nice uh, snapshot of how I wished it would. would be. Oh, thank you, dude! I've always said that, though. and it was Tom Steve Dave centric too, which was nice. I the think that's content. what he means. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, all like, right. Have it, like it, it, what all it does is it really spoils. It, it, it makes you go like. I, it makes me go, man, I just wish it was like this all the time. You wish that Ming wasn't on the show? No, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand what you're stuck with. Like, I'm like, I'm Yeah, what are you doing? Are you working now? Are you, you're going to hang out? Uh, we're, I'm just eating lunch. Just eating lunch? You don't want to hang out? Did you eat well, lunch I don't yet, have Link? enough input for the, uh, I don't have that fancy. Could you just stay uh, for while I ask you something about sure. a story? Um, sure. Somebody sent me this story. They say uh, it, they want us to talk about it on Tell Them Steve Dave. Okay. <laughs> um, 
It's it, the title of the story is a new story is why drivers in China intentionally kill pedestrians they hit. I, I've read this story. I've read this exact article. <laughs> what is it? A lawsuit? Thing? It's about no. It's about oh well, yes. Money. Oh yeah, it is. Q, you're right. It is cheaper to pay out a settlement for when you kill somebody when you when you hit them by you know if they're a pedestrian than it is to pay out over the long period of time the amount of health care that someone you needs. Them. That <laughs> is cold. What's going on, Ming? Wow. So is this government um, endorsed where you get like a bounty it's like death race two thousand if you kill somebody you get you get paid by the government? I don't think they're paying people to run other people. No, there, no. But essentially they are paying for you to finish them off if you do hit them. Yeah. It, it, it just makes more sense oh, to you? kill a oh, person you've hit. Right. Like there's instances okay. where I have security cameras queue. Somebody, they have a BMW hitting a child. Oh, the BMW God. stops yeah. and then turns around and goes back to finish the job. Well, you don't get murder charges at that point? It's very hard to, it's very hard to prove um, unless you have security cameras. Wow. Right? That you don't know if you kill that person immediately, so you go make sure that you. That is fucking cold, man. It's. I mean, you're, you're basically putting a financial value on a human life at this point. Oh well, don't we do that in every country? I suppose, but it, it carries some more weight in this country. I would uh, say. I, well, I also think that yeah, this is a more egregious example of placing a price on it. <laughs> you know, like, oh. Yeah, I uh, I don't I don't agree with that. Uh, for just for the record, just in case anybody thought. Just because it's my home country that I agree. You're turning with your back practice. on your culture, huh? Uh, when it comes to this, yes. <laughs> it comes to running over little kids. <laughs> yeah, or anybody. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not running over anybody. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess this person who sent it in thought it was like we would definitely get a lot of uh, material out of this, but I don't know if there is. I think any. it's a fucking no brainer. Like, yeah, yeah it's it's. Really I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I never thought I would say this because generally I'm a fan of China, but am I going to have to put it on the list of countries that are shithole countries? Um, well, uh, weren't they always? I don't know. Is China? They got that wall over there. They got some great food. There's, yeah, but they got also, some but they beautiful also, girls. They also use um, it's basically uh, like slave dog labor fur in place of uh, like faux fur for like coats and shit. Right. Yeah, slave labor. Yeah, uh, China's not known for their human rights record so much. All right, well, I'm going to put it on BQ's list of shithole countries. What are, what are some other countries that are on that list? Pretty much yeah. everything that's not uh, Italy, England, ran off. <laughs> Canada, the United States. So not a not, no first world. Yeah, no countries. first world. I like Mexico too. I've always did been a you, fan. Did of you that. watch Narcos? No, everybody's telling me I must. It's it depends. If you are very, you know familiar. what? I, hold on, hold on. I dated a really hot girl from the from the Czech Republic too. So I'm going to take that off the list. Okay, and that's not a first world country, that, right? Uh, that that plays in, into uh, your. I mean, this list is it. obviously made by a neo brain dead idiot. So, <laughs> I- <laughs> like, did she ever run over any kids? <laughs> no, but she had a phenomenal ass. But um, <laughs> so you know that countries they, they put out that's that, you know. Oh wait, we're number one in India, so I'm going to say India is not on that list, even though it probably should be. Hey. Oh, that's a total shithole country. Oh yeah, yeah. I are heard, you kidding I mean, me? I know they do evil things, but they really like impractical jokers over there. Yeah, yeah but they're that, like <laughs> fucking gang rapists, and I mean, no, this is this is a very broad generalization of a right. country of a billion people or whatever. <laughs> but I mean, that's where you hear these stories, yeah. like gang rapists, um, like those poor people picking through garbage, like just to to find like a yeah, scrap of fucking cloth to make a blanket. You just have to weigh that against ratings Shit in the water. But I don't understand. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you personally uh, profit from them liking IJ? Uh, in a very small way. So, but big enough to make you well, anyway, overlook. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you what. Well, and, uh, yeah, listen, what do you want me to do? <laughs> we, Q and I were on uh, the Eric Nagel show on Sirius one time, and we we went outside, and this Indian couple came by and noticed him and complimented Jokers, and he snapped too. Really? More so than if it was like a Canadian couple or um, – Not Canadian but like say a Somalian couple right. or um, <laughs> like some – like a Chechnya couple. Right. No, they're Indians, man. <laughs> yeah. And you, you jumped right on it. Big market. I said, we love you, do sir. They, do they have their own version of the Jokers over there? Not yet, but hopefully that's coming. So if they do buy the concept, you'll even you'll, you'll, you'll. we don't make any money on anything, Walter. But it's but it's it's just about like the the global brand extending and extending. 
and then like that all that even if it's not financially that comes back to us in other ways you know what i mean and how, and how many different sets of jokers are there how many countries have their own versions of the jokers i believe the last number i heard was 12 what, what? yeah there's 12 key, different cues out there well, yeah, something like that. Yeah, twelve. I, I don't think they, they're trying to copy us one for one, but yeah. There's... But they've paid the licensing fee. Oh yeah, you now you Kingdom's on this on two on the second the second cast. Whoa! Man, I didn't. Fucking... Holy shit! Yeah, like with comic book men, all they do is like uh, put voices over us or subtitles we have or that something. Too. We have a lot. We have like I think like forty countries with that, but it's just in terms of the remaking the show for their own audiences. I think it might even be sixteen. Well, is is like an Indian practical joke different than uh, an American practical joke? Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. I think so. Yeah, Probably. like they don't involve cows and shit. Like you may involve a cow in your practical joke, like a, at a White Castle, whereas an Indian would never do that. Right. I don't Indian, think so. Right. Well, I know that. But one of the problems with the with the British cast, the first version of not the cast, I, the cast was excellent. Their teeth with the British one. Uh, <laughs> This guy Marek Larwood specifically was as funny as as anybody I've ever seen, um, but they forced them to not only do the same bits as us, but the same exact lines. Oh so boy! They weren't allowed to write their own shit, and that's why it didn't do so well. But how can you uh, write lines? Isn't it all improving? Right, but once you watch the show, they, they be did like, a transcript. You have to say "Hey, mustache" to someone. Oh. They forced it and it didn't really work. Hey, mustache. <laughs> What's your oh, problem? Yes. I enjoy all mustache, though. <laughs> oh, damn mustache. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so no, as you know, so not a lot of money comes in from it, but, uh, you know. But you're building your global brand, whatever the fuck that means. Well, it probably means nothing in the end, but I'm willing to overlook <laughs> a shithole. Atrocities and um, well. inhumane <laughs> living conditions. Well. <laughs> like, constantly, like, there's this tension with Pakistan with the bomb. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> Would you go over for, um... Oh, like- God knows. God, no, I'm not going over there. You want to go to India for a live no, Jokers? No, don't be, don't be, you got to be kidding me. You wow. hear all the shit that goes on over yeah, there? but you could sell out, like, a stadium probably. I don't care. A no? soccer stadium. Yeah. No. And then they could riot and shit. Yeah, I don't need any part of that. Mm. Then I'm getting gang raped. Uh, <laughs> oh, on a bus. That's got to be. That's got to be. Um, you got to cut that out. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you automatically assume that's going to happen? Well, Brian said that they gang rape over there. Yeah, like India is a country. Like they fucking gang rape a lady on a bus for crazy. Oh, is that a killer? Oh, yeah, 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 it's really. It was like a problem for a while there. Like it was in the news are constantly. They, are they known for gang raping celebrities though? Hey, man, they're not fucking. <laughs> they see Q. That's probably more of a prize. Yeah, yeah. Can't go over Some that. fucking Probably. handsome <laughs> Staten Island American. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> um, I was going to cut my hair today. Walt talked me out of it. Really? Yeah. yeah what yeah, kind I, of cut were you going to get? Short, man. I was going to do like a Brian Johnson esque. Really? Yeah. Why'd you talk him out of it? I think he's looking. A, I think he's looking a little bit Legends of the Fall right now. I think if he lets it grow out, he could yeah. definitely he can definitely carry that Brad Pitt length of hair. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, it looks like I mean, and then you can dress really tough, like like with a cowboy hat. You look like a like a right. like a romantic cowboy, a little Bon Jovi. So I'm gonna go for that look. Cue the romantic cowboy. <laughs> Declan, that's a title. <laughs> um, speaking of romance, I got a – first off, on Twitter, there are a lot of – I don't know. How, how often do you check our Twitter queue? Um, maybe a couple times a week, I guess. Maybe once. once. It is comprised, I would say. The do you still refer to it as our? Do you still refer no, to I consider that as Brian's, okay. Brian's Twitter. Really? Uh, 13 percenters have – like it seems that – they are in full force, almost like 50 percenters at this point. Really? So many tweets come from females, yeah. Uh, do right. they listen to the shows, though? Yeah. Or, uh, I've heard, I've heard, show. but I've heard some. Uh, Sit a little closer want, to the mic just wanna, in case. And well. You may want to slice this out. If I ain't slicing out any of gang rape and quit on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, this may be even more incendiary. Oh, boy. <laughs> but I've heard that there may be faux. Thirteen percenters who just want to get your attention, Q. Really? <gasps> they're not really into Tell Them Stories. Oh, they're, they're not into stand? me. Whoa. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Where did you hear this? They're, the the chatter was way too high for thirteen percent. Really? 
And when you look at the people who are who are like doing the chattering, yeah. they're really uh, just you know they're trying to gain your attention by using the uh, TSD card. They're what? playing the TSD card. Uh, you mean the one the one the account he doesn't look at really? <laughs> Why the fuck no. would they use that? Well, they or are also, they chattering on his? Both. I do notice there are a lot of like at BQ Quinn tags on ours. Really, but I always just assume that was because he I was- could tell who the real ants are from from the uh, the Johnny Johnny yet comes lately. Mm-hmm. I could tell. How do you tell? Anybody who's complimenting me is not an ant. <laughs> 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 like. I could just tell. I got like that's it. That's just the way it is. Like ants, ants are not the complimentary type. I mean, when I did the tightrope thing, I, I I had a few long time ants that I knew, and the begrudgingly gave like great job. You know what I mean? Like the way to go. You did it for the ants. But aside from that, if I'm getting compliments, I know that that we're not we're not talking about real. And I don't think it, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. Who cares? How, no, it's who, great. Who cares how you came? To, but I don't know if they're actually like following it and they follow the. Um, the ebb and flow of TSD as closely as some of the right. some of the ants. They may just be like, oh, they may even hear like, oh, Q's not on this episode. I'm not listening, That's, which is okay. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, you're you're in it or you're not. No, I, I don't. I don't agree with that. I think you could be halfway in it. I think you could yeah. just have your toe in it. Hmm. Um, I mean, as long as you buy merch, I think you could dip the pinky toe in. And for life, though. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Where do you um, get that merch at, you? Uh, it's at tellofstevedave.com. Links it directly to our merch table site. I mean, I, I'm sure if you if you follow the show regularly, you wouldn't even need that plug. Yeah. But That's why we never plug our own stuff. We should, though. What about Bandcamp? We you never for, plug Bandcamp. You forget Bandcamp. a lot. Yeah, you forget Bandcamp. We forget, uh, I mean, even our Twitter name. Right. At, at Tell Tell Steve Steve Dave, Dave. which is pretty obvious. Uh, I, we forget to talk about that. Mm-hmm. We forget to talk about. There's some good stuff on the Bandcamp too. There's the Overkill stuff. Um, I still get emails, seemingly daily. You know, people saying, "Hey, I just picked up the Overkill stuff. I wish you guys would go back and do that." Which we did last week. We did some Overkill. <laughs> we did last you know, week where we uh, tried to expose right. some shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> but that, you know, but the jury's say, still out. Can I say something about that? You kind of, and I know you didn't mean to do this. Oh no, you're an enemy. You kind of took the wind out of my sails oh, a little bit. A I asked bit. you, and I said, and you said not at yeah, all. Yeah, but then when I was driving home, I was like, oh man, I hope people who watched it didn't think it was fake. Well, it was, I didn't think it was fake at all. Oh, I thought you wanted Walt to press you harder that it was fake. Oh, I did. Like, that was yeah. my first reaction. I was like, he should go after me right. even harder. But then when I was driving home, I was like, oh, I hope, like, I kind of hope people don't think it's... Because he didn't go after you hard enough. Well, it was what I sort said of left. Was, after you had left Walt, I said, I, I went, um, look, I did the tightrope thing. It's over. It's already in the past. The best way, the best use of it now would be if you went after me hardcore. That dem- insisted it was like fake. constantly, yeah, yeah like, like every week. <laughs> and I know why you're, after week. you're my friend. You know it was real. You know what I mean. You're right. real proud that I did it. I guess I get why. So, so I was kind of stuck in that little nether world, and I was driving home, and I was like, "Oh man, like, what if people do think it was fake?" And then I was just like, "Then I was thinking the implications of that." I was so, like, yeah, oh, that if, you think that was guilt? No, no. Because then I went all the way down to like. Was it fake? <laughs> I was like, well, then they would, then the FDNY charity would have to have been in on it. I was like, and then I was like, oh, now if they think that that's fake. Oh, like, no. Yeah, but that's what I was that doing. Domino, that domino effect is not going to happen. No, I know. I it just, would never happen. And it's not fake. You're up there. Yeah. You walked it. You're up, up. F- Five stories in the air. There's, yeah, it cannot be faked. No, I know, but like even the thing with the harness and stuff, where it's just like that harness. I did uh, a lot of thinking. That harness didn't really help me. And of course, I rewatched the tape, and where I thought I was going, you're saying it hindered you. You would have been even smoother. That's what I'm saying. And cat like. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, let's. I mean, you could say it now. You wow. could come out and tell everybody. You bellow, offered you a spot in his in his troop, right after what you did. He said he wanted to book us at bar mitzvahs. <laughs> that's that's why you don't want Quinn changing his hair so he can fucking 
brush it up and shit. Yeah. I should get Bellow on this. Bellow Junior. <laughs> oh, I'd love to talk. To yeah, Bello. yeah. Look, and he's. You said he's. An, he's from this country. He's from uh, Florida. Oh, he's complete. Yeah, he's American all the way. Uh, yeah, for, I don't know why, but I, for some his reason, name, I think I. I see his circus name, performer. His career and his appearance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they think that he's a foreigner. He's not. I. I don't know why, but I think of a, a circus performer's high wire, especially mm. as being from like uh, European. Right. I don't know why. From like the Czech Republic. Like the flying Wallendas and stuff. Yeah. Well, typically it seemed like. Yeah. No, he's Floridian, man. Super yeah. nice guy. He would come on. I'll find out when he's going to be in town. He looks like the white version of uh, like kid from Kid and Play, right? Yeah. A little bit. How old is he? He looked old. He didn't look like a young guy he to have that kind is, of I that mane. He's 44 or 45. Right. Yeah. That's some hair. Some hair. He's got a go to joke about that hair, too. That is I don't it know. real? It's real. I don't think so. You don't think anything was real on that fucking episode? <laughs> uh, I saw it up close. It's, it's real. It's real. A lot of hairspray? Uh, yes. Well, yeah. yeah. He is a joke that I want to steal, but I, if we get him on the show, I want him to say it. No. The reason I bring up the 13 percenters is um, it, it appears that there was a lot of attention focused on my extremely chocolatey and gravelly voice. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah. I wasn't aware of this. Sexy. The word yeah. sexy was bandied about. Some ladies out there with their earphones in. Yeah. Mm. To the point where I had to promise that I would say something. Oh, boy. Oh, someone's going to oh. uh, maybe... Uh, Who is this, this for? Th- maybe this uh, Julie. All I have to say is throbbing member. Mm. That's all I got to say. Well, what Eyes happens closed. like when Bing talks? <laughs> oh, hey! <Yeah. laughs> I guess it's a different story. But if I, I'm thinking, if it weren't for the face, body, and personality, I would def, I would be the complete package. <laughs> <laughs> You've always put yourself. You remember Stacy Vitelli used to say about you all the time that that you're you're way sexier than you know. Hmm. You agree with that, Walt? More sexier than I know. Do you agree with Stacy Patella? Uh, Go on the record. I think, <laughs> I, I think that I think that there's a lot of things about you that you diminish. Yeah. Um, your your sex appeal being uh, being at the top. <laughs> well, I gotta say, at the top of that list. Um, <laughs> is it the age or, or what, what, where is it coming that like from where? Okay, I go to a con. Yeah, nobody hits on me. No girls hit well, on me. You don't I mean, present a, a hittable. You're not. Because no, I'm, run, you're not I'm running right back to my hotel room. You're <laughs> sulking behind your table with your girlfriend and a child. Like, where are these people coming up to you? No, they, yeah. they hardly ever come to the cons. I'm going to San Antonio this weekend. Okay. Alone? I'm looking for a – yes. So I'm, I'm putting the call out for a, for a, a sultry right. Texan gal to come and hit on me and uh, boost my self-esteem. Does that help your self-esteem? No. But, <laughs> does it? No. No, it won't. If I'm putting it out there, where I'm like, <laughs> please, please, please tell me I'm not ugly. <laughs> I did want to ask you, uh, the, the sexy voice stuff aside, I'm wondering, you must have read this, uh, this story, um, uh, Walt, and you have two young daughters, so yeah. this would affect you. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is something I wanted to, um, to, to, you just can't talk about shit on Twitter, but um, there's a, a Missouri town, bathroom access for transgender teen divides Missouri town, right? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Missouri, I have heard this. You have heard this? I have not heard this. Okay. Missouri transgender teen Lila Perry says she began to feel like a girl when she was 13 and then started dressing like a girl. Now she's 17, right? Wear skirts, makeup, and a long styled hair, long wig. Okay. Styled with bobby pins and shit. There's the picture. It kind of looks like a dude in a wig, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Very manly. Yeah, right. well, yeah. I mean. I'm just saying. To each their own. Right. Um, but. This is where I'm curious as to your... Okay. I, I definitely think I could solve this. Okay. Because she, he uh, wants to be, she, wants to use the girl's locker room to change for gym's cl- gym class, even though a sing, like a regular restroom or a, like a unisexual one is uh, offered. But he says, I am a girl. I am not going to be pushed away to another bathroom, she told CNN. Okay. In less than two weeks, however, it became clear she was not welcome in the locker room because Perry has male anatomy. Many students simply see her as a boy in a wig changing in a girl's locker room. 
and that makes them uncomfortable. Now, had I known in the 80s that if I just popped a wig on my head, I could run into the girls' locker room and scope on some tits? You could not have done that in the 80s. <laughs> no, 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 no fucking way. Yeah. Um, this, this becomes an issue at your daughter's school. Well, what happens? What does Walt Flanagan really, say okay. at the PTA meeting? He stands I stand up. up and I go, I could solve this as long as let's all be adults here and let's – Preach. Preach, Flanagan, is what they say. It's pretty simple. Mm-hmm. Get inside the locker. Get inside the locker and just, change. Just get yeah, you just get inside the locker and then and, and and then change in there. So don't use the bathroom. <laughs> go into a but like let, let, let a, him in let him a in lock. a little early. Right. And then and let him in let him go in a little earlier than class starts and let him go back into like after gym before gym ends. <laughs> let him go in like a couple minutes early too. And let him have his own little locker and get, get inside the locker and change in there. So your solution is – you've seen lockers in high school gyms. Yeah, he looks, he looks like he could fit in a locker. He does look pretty skinny. But your solution, instead of using a bathroom, is to literally well, get way, in a locker. And, and like where, I don't even know if he could move his arms. I don't know that you want to say this at a PTA meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and not even because of the unpcness of it as much. Why is, like, is he crazy? <laughs> well, that's well, I'm wondering where is, do the PC people fall? Is that on this? I am a woman, so you can't treat me any different from other girls. Right is her point, which is not. I'm sorry, I support every right she has, but it's just not. It's just not the way that everybody's going to see it. It's and, it's also like, look, man, you're talking about a, a, a gym class with 30 females who are like, look, I don't want a dude in a wig changing right next to me. I don't care if you say you're a girl or not. Right. I, I think they have that fucking right. This whole fucking like, there is no gender. Like, fuck off with that shit. And that's the reality of it. Yeah. There is gender. And look, you feel like a girl? That's okay. More power to you, and people are not why saying. Why can't they go in a little early? <laughs> why can't they? Though you want them? Well, they can't. The, the this locker, way he gets the locker to, gets is to, like one by one. It's, like right. a fucking, it's not about the pink it's, it's lockers, a, Walt. Imagine it's about trying to change. But he's at least he's in the room, though. He's in the room where they where he belongs. At. But imagine trying to change in like a coffin okay, or but, something. <laughs> all right, so maybe he doesn't have to get inside the locker then. But just let him in five minutes early. Right. He gets dressed. He comes out, and then and then the, then the rest of the class goes in, and does what they gotta do. They get dressed. They come out and play gym, partake in it, and then he sent him in like five minutes earlier than everybody else. He gets goes in, gets dressed, mm-hmm. comes out in the street clothes. Then the girls come go back in. Okay, so now you're making that concession. Then yeah, you gotta make student, some concessions. Then student and I disagree. I, in I this disagree. day and age, yeah. but I think the concession here is that there's the unisex bathroom offered, right? That's the con- isn't that that's the such concession? A fair concession. Yeah, but it says uh, I believe I mean, who's saying this um, because people are not he's, upset he's, that they're. It's like, hey, this person's transgender, uh, nor should they be. Yeah, they're upset yeah. that it's just like, look, you're transgender, but like everyone expects like shit to change fucking overnight, like suddenly. Right. Like, oh, I'm transgender. I feel like a girl. Therefore, I'm going into the girls' locker room. It's like, no. That's not the fucking way the world works. It's not. You know what? Then this kid, this particular kid, it's a, isn't a super small town. It's like th- – It's a pretty small town. Yeah. So it's pretty brave of the kid to even be taking this sort of stance and, and, and whatnot. Good for, good for them. Um, so I definitely applaud the kid for having the All right. What if he has, to, what if he to, has do to do it? Blindfolded. You can't see anybody. <laughs> yeah, but what about the girl seeing his junk? Isn't that part of the issue too? They won't look. Right. They're not interested. They're not interested in a guy's junk? Well, not this guy. Not this dude. Yeah, I would imagine not. I mean, and he's also what skipping the step of the bully having to put him into the locker. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like you're bypassing that whole fucking annoyance. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I say let this kid change with the girls. Uh, the girls don't want it. Hey, man. 30, girls, the don't, era, 30 girls don't want it. One dude, girl, dude, whatever, does want it. Yeah, yeah, come on. It's Majority a, rules. It's a new America, bro. No, this is Majority the Demo- does not rule anything anymore. Democratic process. But you're, if your daughters, Walt, are, are dealing with this, what do, you, what do you say? They're like, hey, man. Wear your gym clothes underneath your street clothes. They're like, I don't want to see this dude's wiener. He's changing don't right go, in front of me. Go in the, don't go in the locker room. I got oh, it. The girls could choose. Why do they change have? To, why do they have to? Room? Why do they no, have sorry. to change all their behavior though? Like, why don't they? They have to change everything to they're the doing. World to make the world to as a as a sign of he, healing and coming together with these. 
Like, why can't he just go into a locker and change, Dad? <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. I was shouted down. <laughs> <laughs> but if they wear their gym clothes underneath their clothes and right. then they just put their street clothes – because that's order. super comfortable and girls love doing that <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> Wear two layers at all so, times. Oh, so now, so now well, what about his comfort? No one's concerned about his comfort, his they, mental comfort. But they are. They're, they're saying go into the unisex bathroom and enough. change. Why isn't it good enough for this Because this, he's, not, this in, young he's lady. not in the actual locker room where he belongs. Uh, that's where he says he belongs. <laughs> and, and you what can – swerve. You can I know I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> what, what yeah. if, I, if I put on a wig, can I change in the girls' locker room? Can, can you you put on a wig, Q? Yeah. Can you then go to say a mall or a restaurant and just walk into uh, a club like you know a, a I can. club or it would be disingenuous though because I don't feel like a female, right? Um, but you don't know. You may eventually. Yeah. That's, yeah. There's, there's busy. Hot set, baby. Uh, I may mentioned. one day feel like a female, and one day, and if that day comes, Walter, I hope that my feelings and rights are respected. As, wouldn't you? Yes, I do. I would. Mm-hmm. You know, right. let's like that should be a new slogan. Get in the locker. That's Wait, the new slogan. Out of the we've swerved again. <laughs> out of the closet and into the locker. <laughs> <laughs> like we can we all just get in the locker? <laughs> Flanagan, twenty sixteen. Oh, what's his platform? <laughs> Can't we all just get in the locker or get out of the America closet and in into the locker. locker? Yeah, get in the locker, America. <laughs> uh, That's those are the only two notes I had for the entire week. All right, you know how long we've been going? I know you guys got to get back to work. I don't know. Yeah, we yeah, not that there's long. No, Probably no only l- less than a half hour. All right. Yeah, we could no keep going. What else do we want to talk about? Is Q? that fan blowing too much noise? I, I mean, I, it's hard because these headphones suck balls. But it definitely cools it down in here. I gotta get, gotta get. Yeah. It. Uh, I mean, what are you gonna do? All right. People are gonna have to suck it up. It was either this or no episode. Either. Yeah, it was one of the two. I was gonna talk about uh, the upcoming one true three tournament. Oh, okay. Um, still, once well, actually. I think two slots are open in the way I think about it. Uh, no one ever stepped up for Maxwell. Shocking, right? <laughs> well, you know what? Somebody the other day was telling me not to hate. Uh, when I was on Twitter, they were like, don't hate on Reddit just because they shit on Maxwell. And I said, I don't, I don't hate on Reddit. I just don't go on Reddit, just like I don't go on a lot of websites. Um, but they said I uh, – it, it was like TSD care or something or other. And uh, I suggest you go on Reddit and read the, the Maxwell hate prior to the One True Three episode. No, no. I meant no sponsor has stepped up. You know, I haven't got a sponsor come in for, for Maxwell yet. So it's there's still a slot open. Right. Could, my- uh, perhaps Reddit. <laughs> so if anybody but I mean that, and that's that's nothing against Maxwell. I mean when I announced it, I don't know if I was clear that there was still one sp- slot. And also your 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 Ghost pal, Puss. What pal? Uh Chris Ladondo. He had he had a killer sponsor lined yeah. up. It was a paranormal investigation crew. Yeah. Uh but then they uh they kept like saying, Well, I said send some sort of prize in and they were like, Well what, we, what do you want? And I was just like, Well what do you got? I gave send me anything. I go right. Send me a, a hat, a baseball hat that says your logo on it or something. <laughs> Send me a T-shirt. You know, and then and the guy was like, okay. And then like weeks later, I'm like, I'm getting all my all my stuff in order for the upcoming event, and I realized that this this paranormal guy had never sent anything in. So I contacted him, and he's like, oh, uh, my boss says we can't send the hat in, so we're out. So your boss, well, I guess your the- paranormal boss. <laughs> Oh, go suck a ghost dick. I mean, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's we don't. That's a you're living. Your paranormal investigator boss is telling you you can't mail in a hat and you're listening. I, th- well, you're an employee. I guess we don't want to. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, like, what is the business? I mean, don't name them, certainly, but. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, like, it was like the investigator. They, they hunt ghosts. ghosts. Yeah. God. How is that a business? Well, like, think about it this way. You don't know, like. Put the, them in the, the locker. Yeah. <laughs> the owner of the, of the paranormal. Investigation crew right. has no idea what Tom Steve Davis. Mm-hmm. You, an employee comes, he's like, "Hey, I, we're, we might get some promotion on this t- on this podcast." Well, maybe they don't want to be affiliated with Tom Steve Dave, right? So he, she put, or he put the ixnay on the uh, on the hat. Right. So Chris is still open, but I. But then there's somebody from the movie called Krampus. Yeah, the, the, the Krampus movie, which has Adam Scott in it. 
And Tony wow. Collette. They want it. They a want it. Producer in? from Cramp, the Krampus movie, said that they want to offer a sponsorship for Chris. Yeah, yeah. It's a very strange wow. set very, of circumstances. Yeah, like, and they, I told him, well, because he wanted to offer like twenty seats. Uh, the prize being twenty seats at the premiere. Oh wow! In New York, well, that's yet to be determined where the premiere is. Yeah, and I and you know because he was going. I guess he must know Chris because he was saying that. Uh, What's his name? I don't remember, but he was saying that Chris is a real good guy. He's uh, he really epitomizes something. Yada yada. And I was like, I had to get back to him and be like, you do realize though, Chris, unless Chris wins it all, or the winner invites Chris. Chris may not get to go to the premiere. This the prize goes to the winner of the tournament. Yeah, but that, but if we go getting twenty ticks, we could say the prize is you attend the screening with Chris Lodondo and nineteen of your closest friends. You know what I mean? I could all right. Yeah, we could do that then. Well, right, well, that well, if that person is listening, or you know, Chris, I need I need. How Chris. come I can't get into the premiere, man? Well, you got to win. I but Lodondo doesn't have to win. <laughs> I got to fucking win. <laughs> So that's uh, coming up soon, though. All right. And I'm excited for I, I, the, Speaking of Reddit, something came up. I, I owe an ant, not an apology per se, but something close to it. All right. Let's just back up real quick. Yeah. So you're saying that if you, <laughs> so want to, if you want to sponsor Ghost Pussy Chris Ladondo, the no, very the cr- least you have to come up with is a fucking hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I, you know, that's why. I mean, this was not about – Grand prizes for me. Right. This was about having fun and, and promoting uh, maybe some businesses that wouldn't that normally can't afford to get promoted, right. or you know, don't you know would never think to promote on television. It was just it was more about fun than anything. And for me, a hat is a good enough prize. For yeah, us, you know, but so. but not your CD or your what a book or whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Look, I'm with you, but no, I don't want to say it's not good enough. I think we're down to the wire, and you're like, send a hat, please. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, pussy need your help. <laughs> if that guy who who emailed me about the Krampus um, premiere once again touching me to clarify what's going on, I'd appreciate it. And if anybody out there wants to do Maxwell, he's the last one uh, that needs uh, a sponsorship. And if he doesn't get out a sponsorship, well, then you know how cool would that be if the one you know. If he goes all the way and takes people hate him that much, <laughs> and uh, and all those sponsorships uh, who turned him down or, or, or who shied away were like, yeah, you know, that paranormal investigator that fucking be, blowing himself that's, away. That's the story. That's the story that you usually see in the movies. Mm-hmm. You know, the uh, oh, guy he, nobody wants. Right, he's Rudy. Take, yeah, he, yeah, okay. That's Maxwell. At least that's my version of Maxwell. Right. Okay. <laughs> now, what were you going to say about Reddit Q? You had to apologize. Uh, you had to apologize. I don't have to. Do you remember, I, remember the tax conversation from a few weeks back when we recorded in the basement? Oh, uh, where you uh, were waxing knowledgeable about tax brackets and shit uh, like that. I wasn't that. waxing knowledgeable. Boasting. I was, I was <laughs> talking my feelings on the matter. But uh, the ant, I, his name is Delicious something. I forget what it was, but I called him a douche or a douchebag on the show. Mm-hmm. And his response to that reminded me what it means to be an ant. He said, instead of, like, tell me to go fuck myself, instead of getting upset or hurt about it, he said, I'm going to get that put on a T-shirt and wear that around. And I was like, that is a guy who knows how to take a fucking shot and, in fact, turn it around on me and make me look like the dickhead. <laughs> uh, what? How did you call with your schnozzle? What's up? How did you call with your <laughs> I did it on the show. Oh, okay. Because Quinn said something about like a ten percent flat tax, and someone said, uh, someone on Twitter said like, Quinn, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And Quinn said, well, that's what the show is based on, as us just talking shit, not really knowing what we're talking about. And then this person said, well, that's an easy out. No, no, no. Right? That I'm not talking about the guy who said that's an easy out. Fuck oh, that guy. That was a different guy. I'm talking about the guy <laughs> I called a douchebag. Even though I still don't agree with him, mm. I think the flat tax thing is, is is still great. And I found out the reason they don't like the flat tax is because too many people would get rich off it. I don't know. It's a whole thing. I don't would want to talk about it anymore. Would we get rich? No. Uh, all right. Uh-oh. Uh, anyway, this guy's Thank reaction you. to it was uh, was perfect. Yeah. Like, just turned it right around, made himself look cool and effortless. Like, all right, I'm a douchebag. I'll wear it on a shirt. And I was like, I want to be that guy one day. Able to just take an insult and, like, turn it around. It's like a badge of honor. I like that. I, I thought you were that guy. Not as cool I, as this I, guy. This guy is that cool, huh? He, he really impressed cool, you. He really impressed me. He did, he did it for me. 
So I wanted to offer an apology and say, uh, you're not a douche, nozzle, buddy. What, does he fucking live in India or something, motherfucker? Like, why are kissing his ass? Oh, I, can't, I can't read something and change my mind about a person? <laughs> mm, I like it. I like it when we stick to our guns if we're oh, fucking right. ignorant. Uh, everybody wrong else on that board can go fuck themselves. <laughs> I'm just talking about this guy. This guy. All right. Well, it seems we're getting high signs all over the place. Yeah, that's it. It's getting loud. Kids' body parts being found in a park. That would creep me out, man. That's fucking weird. What do you right? do in a park like that after they find kid body parts there? Like, oh, where's this at? This was in, um, was, it, was it Chicago, Q? It was, I don't know where it was, but I know that they, police has been finding children's body parts in a park and they keep finding more body parts. Is it the same? I don't, body, I don't is know. It, is it multiple bodies? I don't know. I th- I, yeah, I don't think they've said. Uh, That'd thought, be a tough park yeah, to put to play in. Yeah, like how do you? Yeah, how do you digest that one? That seems weird, right? Like, all right, kids, go play in the dumping ground of a child murder. <laughs> yeah, like a body dump, right? Yeah, I think they should a body dump. Mm, so many good titles. Mm. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, Chicago authorities say they don't know whether or not child parts found in the city's Garfield Park are from the same body, a foot, a head. Two hands Whoa. and oh. another foot of a child. Oh, God, this person is awful. It was a citizen who made the first discovery. Oh, could you imagine that? No, I can't. That's Man. horrible. Shit. As we fucking just wind down like a fucking clock. Well, <laughs> the crew's back on set. Everybody's looking at us. Everybody's making noise. Not yeah. respecting the fucking... Yeah, we got an episode out. What are you going to do? All right. Well, then that is it, I guess, until next, next week. week. You, you in next week, you? I am in next week. I get back from uh, from my little vacay. Oh, you going? To, where are you going? Florida. Going to Florida. You going to Disney. Going to go to Disney. You going to Sea World. Not. Go, I won't go to Sea World. Oh, nice. No. Getting Just a locker. Stay. That's, that's, that's Getting a locker principle. pussy. Getting a <laughs> locker pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave.
This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Sir, only at smodcast.com. <laughs>